Okay, so now I'm going to continue and talk about having a second function. So to save time, I've typed in definition of a second function and I've added code to call the second function. So now I've got, this is the function we wrote previously in the previous video. This is a new function. Notice function definitions are included at the top of the code. So we'll write the definition for one function and give a blank line in between, between the functions. So you can see where a function starts and where it ends. Now in the second function, we've got two parameters. Parameters separated by a comma. Parameters are always variables and we always give them different names. Now within the function definition, the variables are able to be used. So in, if we've got a parameter n1, the first parameter will receive the first argument when we call this function. Now this function is going to receive two numbers. It's going to return the smaller of the two numbers. So if n1 is less than n2, that's the smallest, so we return n1, otherwise we're going to return n2. Now this code here is going to use the isOdd function. The next bit of code, I'm going to enter two integers, two numbers, and I'm going to send those two numbers, I made a mistake there, number one and number two, I'm going to send those two numbers to the function called smallest. So number one will go to n1 and number two, this argument will go to the parameter n2 and whatever is returned from this function, so whatever it returns, either n1 or n2, will be assigned to the result variable. So when this assignment statement runs, this part is done first. Number one and number two are sent to the function called smallest, which is then going to return a value, which is then going to be assigned to the result. Let's see this program run. So this is the first part. This is going to call the is odd function. Let's put in the number five and it says five is an odd number. Now we're in the second part. We're going to enter two integers and it's going to tell us which is the smallest. So the smallest of these two is four. Let's run this again with a different set of values. So this time I'll en enter an even number and this time let's enter and 999. Okay, so I've tested this program. This program is working well. Let's put the test running comments in the code. So at the top of the code, I'm going to put a comment for the file name, which is return.py. The programmer, which is myself. The date and the date today is Thursday, the 12th of October 2017. Time is 11:50 Pacific time, and the status is complete. And let's say test runs follow and we put the test runs between triple single quote marks so let's for the test runs I did or in my shell window let's just copy these and paste into here and there it is I've got my comments at the top my test runs and my code and uh, my complete program let's just save it make sure it's good and now I'll end the video at this point so there's the top of my code 
Where are my two defined functions? This, this is the main program that's going to call the functions. There I show my program run and I'll finish the video at this point.